The news is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola P. Park, NV Salon Nail Spa and Barbershop, Tisley Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, and Digicel Simply More Speed, Reliability and Entertainment. Plug into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney. Pixar. Marvel. Star Wars. And National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today to sell Plus. His home, Kyron McMaster, the Virgin Islands 400-meter hurdler who continues to blaze the trail on the international scene. He arrived to the territory on the evening of September 15 to a grand welcome celebration ceremony. He was presented with a $38,000 check from the Government of National Unity for gold medaling at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham, England and the 2022 NACAC Championship in Bahamas. I attended the Commonwealth Games and so I was able to first hand after uh, opening the festivals here at home, uh, travel to Birmingham to be able to catch the latter part of the Games. I remember it was a group of us from the Virgin Islands there just standing. I think when the race started, we were running the race with Kyron, believe it or not, in the same spot in where we were running, <laughs> running the race. And when he came around on the side where we won the home stretch, I mean, we had our flag and we were screaming, I mean, with pride. And when he crossed the line, I mean, it was a joyous moment. Uh, we were screaming, I mean, we were small in numbers, but the good thing is, all other countries started to chime in as well, and I mean, the atmosphere in there was just simply amazing. And to see persons who have never met uh, Kyron McMaster, some of them who don't even know where the BBA is, just truly celebrate um, such a performance at those games. It was a humbling thing for me to witness at, as the Minister of Sport. Uh, when I came down and I was able to meet him and greet him, uh, it was it was it was humbling for me in this right? in this way. Kyron is young; I, I, he's younger than me, um, but he's he's so humble. Uh, you go and you try to speak with him about what he's done and how much it means, and instead of projecting it on himself, he speaks about how he had to do it for the country and and how he felt like we needed something. We needed to be uplifted and we, we needed this moment even more than him. And I know that he had recently been recovering from an injury, so for him to put himself on the back burner like that and speak about country and what it would mean to us, it taught me truly just in that short space of time who he is and it spoke to his character. I thought long and hard about saying whether or not I would mention how happy I was to see when Kyron was talking about Binky and Scoop. <laughs> And I, I couldn't help but say it. And, and the reason why I, I want to say this is because in such a moment of greatness, in such a moment of what should be all about him, he's speaking about others. But not only speaking about others, speaking about an intricate part of BVI culture and laughter. And for me, when I looked at Kyron, I said, he's a real, true representative for the BVI. You know, the funny thing is, is when you say certain things, they steal your words. I, I, I spoke to the governor earlier, and I said, <laughs> you could imagine Kyron is on the world stage and talking about being here at school. <laughs> <laughs> and there, the governor uses the same thing. <laughs> But it just goes to show the impact it had on, on us as BPI landlords during that time. And you know, we're we happy that you recognize them.
But what made us more proud, to me, is the fact that this is the first time we've heard the, our territorial song played on the world stage. And we must acknowledge him for his efforts, his contribution, and his prolific career. We've been having some discussions about hosting a high caliber meet here on island next year. Um, Kyron, I'll speak to you more about it while you're here. But the aim and hope and objective is that we all, not just you guys, everyone else in the general public gets a fair chance to see our champion yes. com compete at a high level yes. on home soil. Yes. Now, Kyron, I looked at your stats again earlier today, and while we're speaking about challenge challenges, of course, you know we have the World Championships that's going to come up next year. We have Pan Ams that's going to come up. And of course, we have the Olympics that will follow. We have some unfinished business. <laughs> <laughs> and I know, Kyra, from speaking with you, that unfinished business will be finished. We're going to come back. Kyra carries himself in a special way, and he is always cooperative with our federation. And he, he's always looking out for the next generation of athletes. He said, don't help me out, help out those that are coming. I am on my way, I'm here, now I need to help other person. And he has always shown that genuine concern for the other athletes. And I would like to personally thank you, Kyron, for your genuine... I'd just like to thank him and all the senior athletes who have paved in the way for the young athletes that are coming. They have a good future ahead, and it's all done through the hard work of these athletes that we have right now. As, as Steve mentioned, we have two big events next year, World Championship, Pan Am Games, then we go on to Olympics. And one here at home. And one here, oh, of course, and the other is here. The biggest one. So, so we're looking forward to greater things. We're looking forward to continue working, and I must um, congratulate his parents for, for letting Kyron to us for such a short time. He has done so much for the country, and I think we got to have some serious discussion with the tourist board that he has to be made Ambassador Supreme of British Russia. At age 25 years, Kyron McMaster is the territory's most decorated athlete in history. And uh, of course, Mo, I want to thank God for bringing me here safely. Uh, God knows the trials and tribulations. You know, um, coming back home this year was really special to me. This year and the previous year, it's it been a tough, pretty year, you know. Yeah. You don't want to finish fourth all the time. You know, that's depressing. I mean, you know, it's a bit And this year, I was playing with a lot of injuries out of my control. And my family was there more than ever this year for me. So this year was more so family. My father would come like three times a day, probably for like six months straight, you know, because he understood with being in a position of wanting to go medal, but you have a torn hamstring or strain hamstring. So he understood the mission that I had from the beginning and the support the family needed to input. I had the family members there for me. But I appreciate him, my mom, and my family really and truly more than ever. I understand why it is to really have your family in your corner regardless of me. While I was sitting here and receiving this, it just hit me. Why the government don't want more Kairans? I think I have to dish this on site. You understand? So, like, like the Honorable said, we had conversations and we had some pretty good conversations about how we would like to focus more on the development of the youths to bring them to the level that I am. You know, I slipped through the cracks and I went abroad. I, I've been I've been around the block, you understand? Easy to say. I've been the highest of the highs in the track and field world. I've walked the red cap hits at functional events in the track and field world. But I've been at the lows. 
I've been at eight plays consecutive many times, but they never speak about that. They only speak about the gold medal. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so I've been the highs and the lows, so I know what the future athletes have coming up for them. And if you're mentally strong, it's easy to quit, it's easy to stop if you don't have that push. So I feel that's why it's imperative and why it's necessary now that we have to target the younger ones because I think they're blind by not seeing the success a walk in hand. With this JTV News update, Kathy Richards. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official Bank of Paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us. A bank that gives where it matters the most. For you. For our community. And a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Yeah, you. Put on some muscle? I did? No. Rapid growth in reliance on digital systems has opened new vulnerabilities and additional layers of cybersecurity are required to combat sophisticated cyber attacks. Simply Secure's security management solution helps overcome these challenges. Our service includes 24-7 protection for network devices, computers and servers with automatic restoration, security audits, and penetration testing. Don't wait for disaster to strike. Contact us today.